How about this area? <laughs> hey, you got. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's an MG42 in there. Can I have that? Can I have it, please? A fresh dry lander. What are you buying? Weapons. Whatever you're selling. I, weapons, please. Right. We have a limited supply, but take a look and see if anything takes your fancy. Limited supply, he says, holding onto an MG42. That's a display model only. Hey, MG42 is MG42. I still want it. <laughs> I'll take the display model. I would. I 100% would buy a display model only MG42 if it was made from an actual MG42. It's missing all of its internals. That's why it's in the display. Don't care. Still an MG42. <laughs> mortar? Buy a single mortar. Maybe seven of them. Why do you have a? Can I craft an RPG with it? Why do you have a mortar? I'm buying it. <laughs> Every. You know, every time I scroll past the the crude rifle, I, for a split second, my brain thinks it's a PTRD rifle. And you get excited briefly? Well, it's a single shot anti-tank rifle that the Russians used in World War II. And every time I scroll past it, I think that's what it is. And I'm like, oh, it's just a crude rifle. So actually, you get excited about that. I feel like they did, oh my God. No, they actually, I, I'm looking at it. They 100% based the, the crude rifle off of a PTRD. <laughs> There's a bulge right here where the chamber is. Why same are you thing looking on, at my bulge? Same thing on the PTRD. There's a plate right there that you rest your cheek on. Same thing on the PTRD. On the right-hand side of the gun, there is a plate with a hole in it. I don't know what the purpose of the plate with the hole in it is. For protection and to make it go faster. Um, I don't know what the purpose of the plate with the hole in it is, but that is literally on the P- Yeah, so this is just 100% a PTRD with a wooden handguard added to it, and then an extra plate or something. Is the PTRD also crudely made out of pipe? I, I mean, it might as well be. <laughs> this is 100% based off of a PTRD. I don't know why I didn't realize that before. Before. <laughs> before. You don't see them very often. The PTRD-41... And if I said PTRS-41 earlier, it's because they're, they're literally the exact... They're not the exact same. <laughs> the names are exactly the same, with the exception of one letter. Okay. The PTRD is a single-shot, bolt-action, quote-unquote, anti-tank rifle mm. that was designed during World War II. Um, it fires a 14.5 by 114 millimeter cartridge. Mm. To give you an idea of how fuck-off huge that is... 50 BMG that the, the M2 fires is 12.7 by 99 millimeters. This is 14.5 by 114. So it's 18 times bigger. It's, I don't know, I don't know if that number is correct or not because I can't do math, but it is, de it is bigger. Um, the PTRD and PTRS are both from World War II. They really were only able to penetrate very early tank armor, like 1930s mm. tank armor. Um, so like once they started getting used in the war, they weren't really good for tanks. Generally what they ended up using them for, if I recall correctly, was pretty much as just an anti-material rifle. You shoot it at like Jeeps or pillboxes or- Or people if they get in the way. Machine gun emplacements or just anything that you want to get rid of that normal infantry fire won't be enough for it. I want to get um, rid of the sun, so I start shooting at the sun. That's really hard to hit the sun. Just don't lead it so much! Yeah, the, um, the PTRD was designed by, uh, Degcherev, hmm. who designed a bunch of other guns. Are these all Russian weapons? Yeah. Okay. The PTRS-41 is another 14.5 by 114 millimeter rifle that was, again, designed to be used as an anti-tank rifle, and it was designed by Semenov. Uh, you might know better as the designer of the SKS rifle, which is really funny because the PTRS-41 is basically an SKS, but big. Oh, okay. Literally, when he designed the SKS, which is a small infantry carbine, it was small for the 1950s, hmm. he just took the PTRS-41 and made it small to make the SKS. Okay. Which is really funny to me. <laughs> It would be kind of like if John Browning was told to design an infantry rifle and then just took the Browning M2 machine gun and made it smaller and added a pistol grip to it. <laughs> just like... <laughs> you just... Did, play that same song! It's, 
Why fix what's not broken? I'm not saying that he was a bad weapons designer. <laughs> it's just really funny to me that the PTRS-41 is quite literally a gigantic SKS. Yeah, I, I cannot believe I just realized that this is based off of the PTRD. Well, now that you know that it is, are you more inclined to use it? No, maybe if it was in 14.5. <laughs> oh my god, he's got a Webley Fosbury! Eh, it's got some nice designs on the side of the barrel. Not the barrel, the chamber. Yeah, the chamber. Do you want to know why that's on there? Uh, to collect dirt and save it for future use. No, um, I wonder how dirt would affect that, though. No, the reason those divots exist on there, when you fire this revolver, the entire top half of the gun recoils backwards and then moves forward again. Wait, on this revolver pistol? Yes, it on the revolver, the entire top half recoils backward and moves forward again. No, there's no way. I can see the screw. It's bolted in place. No, that screw is, that screw is the pivot mechanism for the, uh, the brake action. So it's a revolver pistol that tries to absorb recoil? You can just say revolver. You don't have to say revolver pistol. I could, but they didn't. Oh, that's weird that they... Yeah, I didn't realize that they did that. Um, it has... The recoiling has two functions. One is that it does absorb some recoil. Two, the reason for these grooves is there is a small tab on the inside of what would be considered the frame. Mm. That tab indexes on those grooves, and as it moves backwards... The tab cams along that groove and rotates the cylinder. I see. That is what rotates the cylinder for the next shot. That it's is such a weird concept to have the, the entire upper receiver jolt backwards. It's a really weird concept. If I recall correctly, the Mateba doesn't do that, and the Mateba is a semi-automatic revolver. I'm not sure how many revolvers do that. There's really not many. There's only there are a very, very small handful of semi-automatic revolvers. I can think of the Webley Fosbury. The Mateba revolver. The Dardic technically is a semi-automatic revolver, but the Dardic is also a magazine-fed revolver. It's... <laughs> oh, the Landstad. There's another revolver from the 1900s that's called the Landstat. That is a semi-automatic revolver, which is... It's, that's a really weird one because the cylinder only has uh, two chambers in it. Hmm. And again, I believe that's another magazine-fed revolver. So those are really the only ones I can think of it's right just not now. a common mechanism no it really isn't i don't want to say there's not a good reason to make a semi-automatic revolver but there kind of isn't really a good reason to make a semi-automatic revolver if you're trying to make a pistol semi-automatic why not make it a pistol i the, the reason i guess the reason to make a semi-automatic semi-automatic revolver is you want a magnum cartridge in an automatic handgun because generally magnum cartridges are rimmed and rimmed cartridges do not play well with autoloaders. Mm. But yeah, the Webley Fosbury is really cool. It is a top brake revolver, which I absolutely love top brake revolvers. They are one of my favorite things ever. It's a top brake semi-auto revolver that has the upper receiver kick back. And... Yeah, the entire upper receiver moves back. Do you want to know what those two little weird things uh, in front of the cylinder are? The little wings right there and there? Yeah, I, I'm curious now that you've pointed them out. They're literally just for holstering. Oh. They're so that when you try to shove the gun into a holster, the leather flaps of the holster or a canvas flaps of the holster don't get stuck on the cylinder. It pushes the canvas or leather flaps out of the way so the gun can be holstered easier. Well, that makes sense. Yep, that's its purpose. 355 I might have to buy that. We're gonna... We're gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm not buying them more. I was gonna look at it. Oh, wait. I can still look at it. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah. That looks like a 60 millimeter mortar. There's no propellant in the back of it. The propellant gets sold extra. Uh, yeah, because normally on the back, when you look, normally when you look at a mortar, mm. you've got the body, which is the Nerf football looking part right here. Mm -hmm. You have the fuse, which is the little cone that goes on the end of it. And then you have the tail fin slash propellant assembly. Normally what you would see on the back of the mortar would be almost like a rifle cartridge where there's a primer in there. Mm. What happens is you drop the mortar down the tube and because it's a very tight fit, it just slides down the tube relatively slowly. Once it hits the bottom, it hits the firing pin. And this entire fin assembly has a bunch of holes in it. That is filled with a propellant. When the firing pin is hit, the explosion is now trapped in between the body of the mortar and the base of the mortar tube. Mm. And that's what goes thoop and launches the mortar out the end of it. Okay. It doesn't make a thoop noise. Mortars <laughs> are very, very loud. Thoop! 
I would like to buy one, but I can't afford it right now. You'll have to sell one of your other two dozen guns that you're carrying around. Um, what else do you have back there? What is... We'll have to come back later after you've restocked, because we want what you got. What is that? <laughs> is there a way to back, get back there? We just want to check it out what you got. Oh, right. come on, man. Let me in. Let me in. Let me put Let my me in. firearms. You got more. You got more people. You got a whole work that. Can I just come back here and work for you? Oh. <laughs> get, 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 hang on. I'm squeezing through. Pardon me. Pardon me. Thank you. He can't help himself. All right. What do we got back here? What is that? Suppressed light service pistol. Man, you guys got you guys got a bunch of cool stuff back here. Let me see this thing. Let me see this thing. Definitely make sure you've sent them out into the world so we can kill folks. It's missing the feed tray cover. It's it's missing all of the gut. It's missing the feed paws from the feed tray cover. You Weird. said you didn't care. You you'd buy the display model no matter how many parts are missing. Well, you know, I just kind of want the feed tray. I want the feed tray to be in there. Like the bolt can be missing. That's fine. I just want the feed tray to be in there. All right. I'm gonna get a bunch of ammo back here too. Well, okay. 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 All right. All right, thank you for letting me have a look back here, Ahab. I'll just I'll squeeze out. Get it. Oh, oh, fuck out! <laughs> I can think of one movie that uses a Webley Fosbury revolver. Zardoz. <laughs> the gun is good. The penis, penis is, is evil. evil. <laughs> That's that movie. It's an American classic. That's the movie that has Sean Connery wearing a sling bikini. <laughs> okay. You think I'm kidding. You think I'm kidding. I am not kidding. I I believe Ooh. you. Oh, hey, there's a weapon crafting bench back here. Hell yeah, let's oh, there go. You go. Can I do anything to uh, standard, lightweight, hair trigger? Can I make it case hardened just for fun? The service revolver? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think do snub nose or long barrel. That's kind of neat. Yeah. And standard grip. Okay. Not a lot of options here. Wad cutter. You know how normally a bullet's like rounded? Yeah. Wad cutters are just completely flat. Huh. And generally, when you look at a wad cutter shell, it is like flush with the end of the cartridge. They're usually lightweight, low recoiling projectiles that are generally only used for target shooting, specifically because they punch a very nice, neat, clean hole through the paper. Uh -huh. If you use like a round nose bullet, they have a tendency to kind of rip the paper when they go through, but a wad cutter is just going to go thump, like it's a hole punch. Huh. Strange. Man stopper! Those would probably just be like hollow points. Yeah, probably. High explosive! Those, um... Explode on impact! I guess like a mercury-filled bullet? I don't know. Oh my god! I did not realize that you could make shot shells for the flare gun! <laughs> well, now you know! And, and some cliché shells. Do not put 12-gauge shells into a flare gun. Don't do it. But you could do it! No, a lot of the time you can't. They just won't fit. But this one apparently will! Triple slug shells? Triple armor penetration slug shells. Cliche, H-E. High explosive shells. That's concerning. <laughs> All right. You got uh, some pacifist you guys are with an armory down here. You got a bunch of stuff I want. We have our reasons, Wayfarer. Defense is a must for our kind, especially here. We're getting our asses kicked by leeches. We're so terrible. We're pacifists, that means we can't defend ourselves. But what we've done is set up a bunch of Kevin McAllister traps. <laughs> so someone comes in, a brick hits them in the face. I didn't kill him, the brick killed him. Loophole! Also, the brick is laced with anthrax. Excessive force! So how's business finding you guys down here? It was great until them leeches cleared everyone from the lower levels. Since you've sorted out our little pest situation, though, we will see. His breathing's a lot more tolerable. Maybe I can even get more firearms, restock, you know. Yeah, a lot of weapons you guys got down here. Well, we have to look out for ourselves here. This is our home, after all. I got an anthrax-laced brick, if you're interested. <laughs> well, thank you, Ahab. Farewell. How about you, lady? What's your story? Well, if it isn't our hero. We did kill a bunch of leeches. Yes, it is I, the hero. Well then, would our fearless warrior venture forth for the likes of me? I lost a lot of weight, you see. Mainly by cutting Lino's pizzas from my diet. And so I want you... No, I need you to help me get new clothes. I don't know, I do like your voice, so... Yeah, okay, we'll help. Good. I need something fashionable, something humans wear, but I don't want you stealing. 
The ferryman said there's an abandoned laundrette in Greenwich. That would be a good place to look. All right, we'll go to the laundrette and get her some clothes. Come along, Churchill. We have people to shoot with a Webley Fosbury. Like, watch this. I'm not used to the Webley because... Ah, okay, no, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Just like, lurking in the shadows, asking to get shot. Do mm -hmm. it. You just came like, what? oh, oh. We gotta shoot some bugs. <laughs> okay. Damn. Okay, that went. That actually did surprisingly well for this thing. Ah, oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I love top break. Oh, just been a mess. God, I love top break revolvers. <laughs> I'm surprised this guy's out and about. I thought all the Thames folk lived in the sewers. I'm um, well. Clearly, some of them are not pacifists. We're going to the laundromat. We're gonna help out that lady, find her some clothing. Yeah. It's not oh, that it's far. Like, it's really close. Yeah, it's right there. The, oh. Ooh, a British fire truck. Uh, Double no, line. that's a Soviet missile carrier. You sure it's got this fire hose in the front? Yeah, okay, it's a fire truck, but it's based on a Soviet missile carrier. Yeah, they did, I don't know what version of the Soviet missile carrier it is, but like, there's a reason that it's like this, and then like this is because the missile goes in the middle. Mm. And so you got like the driver is over here, and then like the rest of the crew sits in the other seats. But yeah, okay. that's 100% that's based off of a Soviet missile carrier. All right. Mm. It's neat, I, don't get me wrong, I think it's really cool. It's just like, I, I as a massive nerd, <laughs> immediately noticed that, because I've, I've seen it in SnowRunner, that's why I know it's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty wide, I'm not sure it fit through the streets of London. It looks, you know what it kind of looks like? It looks like the uh, fire trucks that they have at airports. Because they got the really big fire trucks that are just filled with massive tanks of foam. I guess I haven't seen that. Possibly for, because I haven't seen an airplane catch fire. For use at airports, because like, if you're only using it at the airport, it doesn't really matter how big the truck is, you know? Yeah, the tarmac can fit the car, all right. <laughs> Transporting washer and dryer. Just making and sure that they weren't closed. Oh boy. Gotta test out those new firearms. Damn, this gun. Holy shit. Okay. Mm. Hiding over there? I don't think so. Yeah, that Webley seems to drop pretty quick. It is 45 caliber. Bing. Oh no, your bullets went everywhere. Even the ones that were still live. No, those are magic. They just immediately go back into my bag. Ah. Like mannequin. You look nice today. Oh, well, thank you. Because you shopped here, possibly. Crayon eater. <laughs> Look, they got an illustration of you. No, that's you. You're the Marine. Yeah. I figured I'd beat you to that, though. Mm. We didn't even ask that lady what her size was or what size she wanted. I don't know ladies' dress sizes either. Does is, is she want, like, a medium? Does she want a four? A four and a half? Mm -mm. I don't know. We, neither of us know. We lack the critical information. We'll oh. find clothes this time for sure. Yeah, we'll just poke around a bit until we find some. Uh, I'm going to attempt to turn on this laundry machine. Oh, it needs washing powder. Uh, okay. The washing machine has been turned on. There were clothes in there, I assume, right? Yeah, there were clothes in there. Okay. Wait for clothes to wash. Mike, don't stand on the table. Why? Who's that can't support your weight. Whatever, you can wash it too. If you're washing clothes, you can wash the I'm table. I'm not worried about the table being dirty. I'm worried about the table breaking Sounds and falling like and hitting your head. Sounds like you're worried about the table being dirty. Oh, hi. <laughs> you want to help? No, you seem to have it handled. All right, fun. You don't need my... You want to test out the Webley. Oh, is it? You get mad when I steal your kills. Ow! You can handle it, right? You know the dog? You don't, you don't need my help? Maybe you need my help. Maybe they're upset that you're stealing their clothes. The clothes are 80% washed. Hey, Mike, there's a guy behind you. Yeah, but he's going to attack you and ignore me, probably. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> what a jerk. Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe you've got a distinct smell to you. It allures him in. Get a gold-plated flip lighter. I'll take that. Excuse me. The clean clothes have been added. I am amazed that this washing machine is still running. Yeah, and it's so quiet, too. It didn't sound like it was running. Bing. Let's go to the luxury models. We'll just assume the clothes that were in there fit her. Why did you bring me a t-shirt that says, I hate Thames folk on it, I can't wear this. Oh boy, a pair of pants that say juicy. <laughs> My heroes returned. 
Yes, I have. And I have some clothes for you. I bet you'll look good in these ones. I don't know what they look like. <laughs> I knew you were my hero. <laughs> I don't look bad. Stop by later and you can see them. I mean, uh, you just put them on. I meant the undergarments. I'm coming on to you. Men really are dense, aren't they? She's got a good voice, though. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hello there, human. Yeah, for a fish monster. Well, enjoy your new clothes. Um, we'll come back with that painting uh, many, many months from now. Yeah, later. Way later. Way later. He was moving. Yeah, he's, he's late for a very important date. What Laudanum does to a motherfucker, and then it's just an image of Alice in Wonderland. And, and apparently Laudanum makes you sprint through London. Oh, no, I was just, because uh, you said he's late for a very important date, <laughs> which made me think of Alice in Wonderland. That's, I, yeah. I gotcha.